Uh, my name is uh, Nagami Muhanna. I'm a reporter and fixer working with a local and international Aboriginal uh, outlet. I worked also as a movie maker um, for like 10 years until now. So tell me about your work in Gaza. As a journalist uh, works in Gaza, it's uh, not easy work to uh, to work as a journalist, <coughs> you faced a lot of uh, obstacles, a lot of uh, challenging to, uh, in order to improve yourself in the beginning, because um, Gaza is a place that is uh, on the news all the time. So uh, to talk about what is happening on Gaza, um, it, it's a, a risky uh, that you are uh, put yourself in. Um, you raised uh, with uh, the Palestinian case, so you have a lot of duties on, on you. It's about talking about the pu abuse that your nation is uh, exposing every day, and also it's about telling those uh, stories while you are trying to protect yourself every day and every uh, every hour of your coverage. So. You are uh, challenging yourself, you are challenging the people who are around you. It's not easy for your family also to work as a journalist because all, all the time you are uh, in risk and under fire. We know how much Gaza is so risky place for journalists. We have a number of journalists who get injured, who get killed during their coverage on Gaza. So um, it's really not easy to work as a journalist, but you have to do it. Um, and go on. With Very it. tricky situations where you had to make a choice. Um, recently, there is the protest which is uh, happened in Gaza. It started on the third thirty of March, and it was a big event that happened on Gaza for poor people who want to ask for their rights. It's about the uh, Palestinian written right. So um, there were a big protest on the border area with Israel in the eastern border. Um, that's a place is not a safe place for everyone. So to go there, you have to choose if you want to um, to cover what is happening, uh, and maybe you will get injured, you will get killed, because. There is no differences between the protester, the protester, or uh, the journalist. Um, it's not easy for me to take that choice. Um, I saw number of journalists who got injured, and to be a journalist working without uh, inter international protection, that is easy for. Uh, it, it, it's easy to be targeted. So it was so challenging for me to choose if I will go to border area to cover what is happening there because it's really something worth to talk about it. There are a lot of abuse against your uh, people who are asking for their simple uh, rights or to protect yourself and not to go and just to watch it from, out, from, from far. So I choose to cover the stories that is happening after the protest on the hospitals, uh, to cover the people, uh, to talk about the stories of people who got injured, who have uh, lost their hope in life and they choose to go to ask for the right instead of just to stay in their home. Um, it's really difficult as a journalist uh, in Gaza to work with local media. Um, there is absence for your protection and um, you have to protect yourself because nobody will protect you. So you have to be smart in, in taking your choice in this thing. And what about the, the female journalists working in Gaza? Yes, they have no place to work. As you described, are there any differences? Does, does it make it harder being a woman there? Um, Gaza is a masculine society, so um, it's, it's something you can't escape from it. But to improve yourself, you at the beginning chose to be a journalist. It's not an easy work, it's a tough work. So in the beginning, you choose to be a troubled person. So uh, you have to improve yourself. You have to go on in everything. Um, to be honest, the number of female journalists is not so high in Gaza. We have only number of stars, reporter, female reporter, maybe five stars. 
um, that's because um, women try, they are trying their best to improve themselves. They are trying to do a, a place for them among the huge number of male journalists. Sometimes they succeed and sometimes they just feel depressed and they can't go on uh, because the female journalist, she has to work inside and outside. So she has to be superwoman to, <laughs> to do this work. Uh, recently, we uh, find a number of female journalists who struggle and who improve herself in, in the field, and we can find her name in everywhere. Um, so for women, for female, she has to work hard, she has to improve herself, she has to struggle and fight to find a place for herself in a Moscowian uh, society. And does reporting the world does that dominate your work or are there thank you based stories that you can cover if you choose not to for example go to the front line what are the main day-to-day -day stories in, in gaza uh, in gaza i work on social work um, sometimes I'm, i try to find the stories that talk about hopes because in gaza in a siege place for 12 years people just reach to the point that they can't do it anymore. So you have to find some stories that give you some hopes just to let, to improve, uh, to, to let people go on, fight more. Um, I believe that at the end we will have something for us. We will succeed and obtain our right. So to talk about hopes is something very important in Gaza. Also to talk about social stories, about struggling stories, uh, to improve for everyone that we deserve to life, we deserve life and we want life. We are people who love life and um, we hope to have it one day. So my mission as a journalist is to tell everyone in the world that people in Gaza, people love life and they want to live their life peacefully, without war. Um, they, they know how to sing, they know how to dance. So it's good to give them the chance to do it.